us a blue Christmas today, an opportunity uh, to come before the Lord, our tender God, with tender hearts. It's a quieter service, so I'll just remind people to make sure their phones are turned off uh, or on silence. Uh, a blue Christmas this is something new at St. Mark's, a service that recognises Christmas can be a time of sadness for many people. As we remember the death of our loved one, the losses of the year, being away from those we love or other struggles, we may simply desire to rest in quietness at this busy time. So this service gives us room to express our experiences by bringing our prayers and our reflections to God. So let's pray. Lord, we thank you we can come before you with our whole selves, at any time and thank you that we can do this at this time today we pray for your spirit to come tenderly with a gent like a gentle breeze uh, to speak to us in Jesus' name we pray Amen. Amen. well you may like to stay seated as we sing our first hymn be still for the presence of the Lord Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you're with us through your spirit. We remember that you, Lord, you have not left us alone and without comfort, but you, the God of love, sent Jesus, your very self, Emmanuel, God with us, to live with us and to bear our sorrows. Let's say this together. God of mercy, hear our prayer in this Advent season for ourselves, families and friends who live with painful experiences of loss. We ask for strength for today, courage for tomorrow, and peace for the past. Thank 
you in the name of Jesus. Wait a little to share our love, sorrow, joy, death, new life, despair, and anguish. Amen. Thank you, Paul. He will do our readings today. <clears throat> we read from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 9, a promise that God's people relied on and knew deeply. From verse 2. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of deep darkness, a light has dawned. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and peace, there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness. From that time on and forever, the zeal of the Lord Almighty will accompany will accomplish this. We now go to light the Christmas candle. For Jesus Christ is the light of the world, a light of no darkness can extinguish. Just like Christmas began with a little light that grew. We read in Luke chapter 1 from verse 76 And you, child, will be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation to his people by the forgiveness of their sins. By the tender mercy of our God, the dawn from on high will break upon us to give light to those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. How has life been for you these past months? Has it been tough? Have you felt abandoned in despair? can't see a way forward. Both our readings speak about the great light of God's grace that was to come in the Messiah. And the people were living in darkness and deep distress. They experienced grief in the absence of God. The promise of God in the hope of salvation was far removed. And perhaps for us, we agonize silently, we may not articulate our feelings, or we don't understand why particular afflictions and situations have emerged. Yet, when the time had fully come, the Bible tells us in Galatians, God became flesh and made his dwelling among us. You can see this painting that Margaret Anderson, uh, she was a prolific artist in our midst, the wife of Keith. And here we see that image of God with us, Emmanuel. So the Lord of light, the Prince of Peace, Shalom. The God of love came down and crept in beside us. Who would have imagined that God would become a human baby in Jesus? to fulfill God's promise of a saviour, to save people, to save me and you from the grip of sin, evil, 
and hopelessness. We remember the integrity, the depth, the width, the height and the length of God's love for us and Jesus Christ, who met and accepted people just as they were. And God meets us just as we are here right now. Jesus met people in their daily life and he listened to their stories. And we're here to bear one another's burdens together in Christ. Jesus listened compassionately with hearts mended, hearts restored, and people healed emotionally, physically, mentally, spiritually. They found love and forgiveness, joy and peace again. <clears throat> Emmanuel, Jesus' name, we know it so well, God with us. This December, or perhaps these last few months, or this year, may, have, may mean for us a distance from God. But today, God the Spirit speaks to us that I am with you, that God is with us. God sees, God knows, the Holy Spirit is here with us and understands the ache and pain of separation through death, and wounds we carry in our heart through other messy and complicated situations. Jesus speaks these words to us, come to me, come to me, and I will carry your burdens, your pains and heartache. It's all right, be at peace, you're safe with me. I know the pain of death and separation, and every circumstance that has bruised your heart. I am the Lord that heals you. And I'm inviting you today to let go of anything that gets in the way as I, your Lord, your Savior, I died for you and rose again in the power of love to save you from the fear of death, darkness, and emptiness. And as a mother comforts her child, this is the heart of our God, our Lord Jesus, the Holy Spirit, who says to us, as a mother comforts her child, so will I comfort you. My face shines upon you. With my peace and healing, be kind to yourself and invite you. Soon you might be able, you will be able to light a candle, whatever emerges in your heart. But be kind to yourself. You don't have to be brave. Let the Lord heal you. Let the Lord mend your heart as you acknowledge those places that need God's shalom and peace. Receive God's healing, love, with hope for today. And to gentle time in God's hands and heart will heal our sorrows, but will not diminish the deep bonds of love for all whom we have loved, those whom we continue to love, held forever in our hearts with precious memories and hope for a better tomorrow. The Lord be with you. We like this candle to remember those we have loved and lost. Please remember their names now, their faces, and shared moments.
you never had that moment to speak to your loved one before they left this planet, ask the Lord Jesus. Give it to the Lord. Whatever you wanted to say. This is your time to remember what you would have said, what you could have said. We thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you, Lord. We give thanks for the memories that we hold close at heart this season, this moment, that anticipates your coming, Lord Jesus, the coming of you. Let's say this in the yellow ticket. May God's eternal love bless and surround me. And if there are visions and pictures that come, don't be afraid. Smile at them and bless the Lord for those moments. We light this candle to redeem loss in all its forms. And my dear friends, we especially remember the losses of relationships, health in ourselves, our friends that we love, our family members, jobs, financial security, health, where we've been challenged. The loss of dreams in these uncertain times. We give them to you, Lord. And forgive us, Lord, where we've been angry with you, where we've not understood why some things have happened and we still struggle. But we know that you hold us now and you want to bring comfort and healing to us. Nothing will separate us from your love, Lord. Thank you. Let's say this together. As we gather the pain of the past and the pain of now, we offer it to you, gracious God, with open hands and heart, so we may receive your gift of peace. Refresh, restore, renew us, O oh God, and lead us into the future. This candle to release the pain we hold. Take a deep breath and release as you exhale the pain you hold in your shoulders, in your tummy, your body. We, we ask you to help us, Holy Spirit, to release the pain we hold and the pain in our world into your care. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, we pray for an end to war, violence, and hatred, and that we will not lose heart and grow weary. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Holy Spirit.
You know our deepest need, Lord Jesus, and you understand completely the depths of sorrow and pain as you experienced in your body the trauma and suffering through your death on a cross. If you're able to say this prayer, let's say it together. Come, Lord Jesus, and heal our hearts, minds, and bodies from the darkness of loss and grief and for all affected by tragedy and war. We light this candle and ask for the gift of hope that is offered to all people in the Christmas story, in the birth of Jesus, who lived, died, was buried, and rose again. your faithfulness, Lord. Great is your faithfulness. Morning by morning, your mercies we see. Oh, we have needed your hand to be Strength for today, I hope for tomorrow. Great is your faithfulness. We bless you, Lord. We worship you. Bless the Lord, my soul, and bless God's holy name. Bless the Lord, my soul, who leads me. are insufficient, gracious God, and we remember and give thanks that you revealed yourself in Jesus Christ, you, the light of the world, and together we pray this, a light that no darkness can extinguish, light in our darkness we pray, let us remember the one who shares us the way, and with us in all our tomorrow. This is your time now. You may have lit one candle already, but there might be other things that emerge in your heart. So Liz, you're going to come and light the candle first because you're going to play some music for us. And once you finish lighting your candle, there's a little card there that you can take. Maybe you want to take one for someone and give it to them over Christmas. You're very welcome. There's more enough. There's about 50 cards there, so you're welcome to take two.
Please remain seated as we sing this song as our prayer to God the Spirit wants to touch us and heal us. Thank you, Liz. Is a word that comes straight from the heart of God. Just turn to the person next to you and give them either a handshake or a hug and bless them as God is blessing you. Yes. Yes. In Peter's letter, we read that we are all the priests of God, the priesthood of all believers. And so we now have an opportunity to pray on behalf of those who we wish to know the closeness of God at this time. God of eternal love, we pray for our families and friends to experience your love, peace, and goodness. God, hear our prayer. Weaver of compassion, restore all whom we know whose bodies, spirits, minds, and lives are affected by sickness, circumstances, or grief. God, hear our prayer. Gracious God, sustainer of creation, rescue and restore all who have been through natural disasters, including communities affected by floods across Australia, earthquakes and extreme climatic changes. God, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, as peacemaker and pain bearer of the world, we pray that you will guide all nations to share the resources of our earth with justice, and work together for the common good of all peoples. God, God hear our prayer. And let's say together the Lord's prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial. And deliver us from evil, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The good news of God's grace and love we read in the Psalms. Let's say together. <coughs> if I say, surely the darkness will overwhelm me, and the light around me will be night, even the darkness is not dark to God. And the night is as bright as the day. The God who promised never to leave us nor forsake us has come to us in Jesus Christ, who binds up the brokenhearted, 
heals our infirmities, infirmities and relieves our burdens of sin and, and anxieties. So arise, shine, for your light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Let's just say a little prayer quietly in our heart before we say this. Let's thank Father, Son, and Holy Spirit for bringing us here this afternoon to experience the wonder and constant compassion of our God for us. Now oh, we bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We bless you. Oh, come. Thank you, Liz, for being our musician today. <laughs> 